Ladies and gentlemen, Keith from iRepair Autos. Today I'm gonna to show you how to test your camshaft position magnet sensors. Let's get started. Hey, but before we get started, I know you've been meaning to subscribe, so do that now. Thanks. First and most important part of this diagnostic is you're gonna need a set of voltmeters, 12 volt power source. I'm gonna use an auxiliary battery that I have. Set of alligator clips, a wrench or any metallic tool. And most importantly, the sensor in which you're gonna test. Sensor and turning it towards the connection point, the electronics on the sensor, you'll notice two pins that are on the inside. These pins are gonna be used in connection with our voltmeter and our power source to get some readings off of the sensor. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna connect red alligator clip to one of the pins and it doesn't matter which pin, just choose one side, making sure that it only touches the one and not the other side. Black alligator clips, we're gonna connect it to the opposite side, making sure that they don't touch. So once that's all connected up nice and good, I like to then take my voltmeter and just to make sure that they're not touching, I'll put the voltmeter into continuity mode. Continuity mode, when there's a connection all the way through, it beeps. So I'll touch both of these, no beep, no continuity. So what we're gonna then do, bringing in the 12 volt into the picture, is we're gonna take the other end of the red alligator clip and connect it to the positive side on the battery. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our voltmeter to volts AC, because we're gonna be recording an AC current that's produced from the magnet. And so we got our positive side connected to the positive tip. The black side is still connected to nothing at this point. We're gonna connect the black side to the positive lead on our voltmeter. Rest that aside. And then taking the open end of this voltmeter, we're gonna touch it to the battery. And looking at the readout on the voltmeter, when I put a metallic object simulating the camshaft spinning, we should see voltage readings. See, I went up to 0 0.45. Move it away, it goes back down to 0 0.011, 0 0.48, 0 0.11. That reading is showing you that the magnet is Detecting the metallic, in this case the tool, but it would be the magnetic camshaft. And converting it into a signal, electronic signal that the computer can then read. So the electronics on the position sensor is good. Now that we've done that, let's disconnect the power. Turn this off. Disconnect all the electronics. The next thing we want to do is we should be able to hear the magnet freely inside. That indicates that it's not seized, indicate that it's not frozen on the inside. This hole here allows oil to go in and these little slots here allows the oil to come out. So it's a lubricated system. Check the back for any cracks on the plastic or any broken pins on the inside. The pins aren't broken. Usually what happens is this little rubber bushing right here over time gets hardened, dried out and cracked. And changing this part out is easy enough. I have videos showing you how to change out the complete part. It will be in the description below as well as the link in your upper right corner of this video. So that's how you diagnose your your Mercedes camshaft position magnet sensor. Hope you found this 
diagnostic video for the camshaft position magnet sensor helpful stick around take a look at the channel i have tons of other videos pertaining to mercedes that you may or may not need at this time but in the near future and i release a video every monday if you find these videos helpful thumbs it up share it and subscribe